What's up to the YouTube community? What's up to those of y'all on SoundCloud? All 10 of y'all. I appreciate y'all checking it out. This will continue to grow both on Twitch, live twitch.tv slash dub dot and on YouTube. This podcast will continue to grow thanks to you guys. I appreciate y'all being in the chat. Like I told you many times on this podcast, man, I'll be sitting here during the week. I'll be sitting here. I'll be chilling. And I think to myself all the time, chat. And I think to myself, there's nothing to talk about Madden. You know, it's kind of dry. Nobody's really playing. There's no tournaments to break down. There's nothing really exciting to talk about. But then, like, like manna from heaven, from heaven, they bring the content to me. I don't got to look far. I don't got to look far away. I don't got to search. I don't got to dig up scraps. I don't have to figure it out. They bring the content to my feet. And I tell myself, let's capitalize. Let's talk about it. Because a lot of this stuff matters. A lot of stuff matters for me. matters for you guys. You know, and it's a it's a heated debate on Twitter probably the last day or so. And man, I like it. And I guess I have opinions on it. And I feel like some people were way too far one way and other people were way too far the other way. You know, me myself, I'm kind of in the middle with this Troy Apke and Moss argument. But we will get to that. Now, what first I want to do is just uh, as we start this, this, this stream and as we start, let me see my... OPS, my OBS right here. So as we start the stream, I just want to get a few, a few of the, um, a few of the promotions out of the way, man. Tell you guys about some great things that people have reached out to me. We're going to continue to do. And the number one thing is Players Lounge. They have a new clan set, a new clan. I want to say competition this week coming up. I think it, I believe it starts this weekend. And I will continue to talk more and more about this Players Lounge event. But essentially, I don't know if any of you guys play on Players Lounge. If you're on YouTube, the link is below. If you're on SoundCloud, man, you can find the link uh, below in my YouTube description. Also, I will put it in the chat right now for you guys that aren't here, that are, that are in the chat. That is the Players Lounge um, link right there. That is where you can play for money. You can play for $5. You can play for $20. You can play for $200. You can play for $2,000. However you feel, both on Madden, 2K, Fortnite, whatever you play, whatever you're really good at. You can also join tournaments. Maybe they're $4 to enter and you win $100. Whatever it may be. But they're having a new competition this week coming up. And what they're trying to make and what they think the future of, of you know gaming and, and competing is more of a clan type of thing. You know, so this upcoming week is going to be kind of like a crew v crew thing, but it's more of a clan where you find two other people and together you you just calculate your cumulative games and whoever plays the most games will then win an additional fifteen hundred dollars. And you might say me myself, when I first heard, I was like, man, I really don't want to play this many uh, head to head games. I don't want to have to play a bunch of games. There's going to be people grinding ten dollar games all day. Funny you should ask is that the more expensive the game you play, the more points you get to this competition. So what you got to do is you got to find two of your friends, sign up for Players Lounge. Now you guys are a clan. You guys can join this competition. Now on top of that, I will give you guys more information in my streams on my social media coming up in the next couple of days. Um, you cannot get Wellstone Players Lounge. That's what a lot of people ask me. A lot of people that are new to gambling online. There's a lot of support systems. Uh, and at the end of the day, you know, what happens is when you sign up for Players Lounge, you put your gamer tag on, you have to play on that gamer tag. You know, say I, I put my gamer tag, I'm dub.w, my gamer tag is dub.w. All right. So say I'm losing a game to, to Joey Chestnut, right? And Joey Chestnut, and I quit and say, Damn, I, didn't, I didn't even play that game. Now, all Joey Chestnut does is have to take a, a picture of him beating dub.w. My name is up on the top right side of the corner, and he can send it to them. They have tons of staff consistently watching over the site to make sure you don't get welched. You know, and, and that's pretty much a big question I get all the time. But this is a big competition with, you know, where you get two people and you try to play as many games as you can for a week span, and then you win an extra $1,500 for you and your two buddies. Now, like I said, it's not all about playing the most games. It's about kind of gambling the most money, you know. But I will I will plug you guys in with more details on this Players Lounge event in the future. So if you're not following me on social media, man, you should be doing that now. And like I said, all these descriptions are in the YouTube description below. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. But now let's go on to another thing that I'm really doing my best to get really popping. And that's the Eagles game tournament. Every Eagles game, we have a $1,000 tournament before the game. 
at the tailgate. Now, I know you guys are a lot of NFL fans. I'm an NFL fan. And when you go to the game, you don't get there 10 minutes before the, the game starts. You get there five hours before the game starts. Because one, you're going to cook your food. You're going to drink your beer. You're going to chill with your people, hang out, get ready for the game. That's tailgating. And what we're bringing to you is an, a Madden tournament within this tailgate. At the tailgate, in the middle of the tailgate, a $1,000 Madden tournament. A regs tournament. People ask for these things all the time. So you get an opportunity to mix the Eagles tailgate in with some John Madden football is always a good thing. Now we've had two of these so far. Gares won the first one. I believe Joke won the second one. This is going to be the third one. And what my biggest goal is, what my biggest goal is, is to eventually get these when we have a 415 game or we even have a Sunday night game, maybe get this to a 5K pot and let, you know, 32 people join or 64 people join uh it's just a matter of you know you guys supporting these and i believe we did have a full a full house the first two tournaments 16 people only 16 people can sign up so this is uh right here you can hit that link right there and sign up right now for the eagles game tournament and have the ability to uh play in that tournament before the game price starts around 10 o'clock if you're if you're new to the Eagles tailgate, man, you want to get there, plan to get there an hour earlier than you have to be because there is a lot of traffic. It's super busy down there. It's a super good time. Uh, whether you want to play in it or not, if you want to check it out, if you're already down there for the tailgate, already down there for the Eagles game, I will be there. A couple of my buddies will be there. I believe my girl will be there too as well this weekend. You know, I planned on going to the game. My buddy hit me up and said, let's go to the game. I said, yes. Then I looked at the schedule and it's the weekend my girl's going to be here. And, and I was kind of pissed off about that. And why? Because now going to the Eagles game is going to cost me double. Not only am I going to have to pay for my $200 ticket, now I have to pay for her, her $200 ticket. Not only am I going to have to buy my $15 beer, now I have to buy her $15 beer. So every expense that I had is now doubled. Which is part of being in a relationship. It, it kind of sucks. I, I hope some of you guys know what that's like. A lot of you guys don't. And, and But it is something that we're going to continue to grow and make uh, before Eagles games tournament something real. And I appreciate all the support I've already gotten from a lot of the Madden community and other people in the, you know, what's from called in the Madden hemisphere, so to say. I mean, it's not about being whipped. It's about, you know, if your girl's going to be here for the weekend, you're not going to the Eagles game by yourself. You're not going to say, chick, stay home. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to bring your girl. At the end of the day, I want her to come. But it's just going to make, it's going to make, you know, Going to a game, uh, this is what I talk about. Going to a game with the female is different than going to the movies or going out to dinner. A game is expensive. Like, that shit's not a joke. Like, you're not just going to go down there. Like, no. You know, I like, when I go by myself, it's kind of easy because you buy, because you buy one ticket. You know, you want to spend 200, you want to spend 300, you want to spend, you know, 100 and get, you know, the bleeds. That's cool. But now when your girl comes, one, you can't put your girl in the bleeds. I mean, you can. And I can now because we're pretty far established. Like, if it was the first couple dates, you want to try to show her you're the man and you don't want to put her in the bleeds. But we're pretty well established. So if I want to sit in the bleeds, we're sitting in the bleeds. You know? But, um, yeah, it definitely doubles up your price. And I've gone to Eagles games with females probably four or five times. Definitely an expensive date. A Sixers game is a lot more manageable where you can go ahead and spend 150 bucks, you know, and get two people in there. But let's move on. Now, that's one of the two, two things that I'm really excited about to bring you guys. And uh, now let's talk about what's going on now, man. People are here on Twitter all day. Man is dead. We hate Madden. Now, there's 200 people in the chat. 248, total set. Let me know if you guys hate Madden. Do you feel like Madden is dead? Because personally, I mean, I don't know if I feel that way. And I feel like there's some things that are different this year than they are in the past to kind of make it feel like it's dead. You know, and, and personally for me, um, I feel like all my stuff is doing as well as it has ever done. This is the most subs I ever had on Twitch. This is the most viewers I consistently get. There was 150 people in the podcast before I even started talking. So as far as me personally... This is the best man has ever been, you know, as far as my content and as far as everything going on. I can't say the same for everybody else. I can't say the same for the game in general. You guys might hate the game, you know, and that's cool. But for me personally, I feel like this, all this stuff is continually growing every single day. So I don't think man is dead. 
Um, I, I will always think Madden is better than 2K. Um, and, and, and a lot of people complain about the run game. And, and I, it's got to be some of y'all in here that are running, you know. You know. The best cards cost way too much, and I hate the way the game is played. Now, I will tell you this right now. I kind of agree. The best cards do cost a lot. You know, and Madden does cost a lot to play. You know, but at the same time, when I say that, you know, as my OBS gets full screen here, we're like, everything's freaking out. What? What is going on? Why can't we not get rid of my full screen? All right, we got rid of it. Jesus Christ. My OBS just went full screen out of nowhere. And I couldn't, like, make it. It took up my whole... I freaked out. I thought, thought my computer was going to blow up. By the way, Mutt costs too much. You know, and I'll tell you, at the same time, Mutt costs a lot. And I might be speaking for myself as somebody that can win 90 95% of every single game I play. I feel like Madden... I can play the game and not have to spend a lot of money. Now, a lot of you guys might not be as good as me. And that's not capping. That's not, you know, just is what it is. So maybe you guys aren't winning in 90% clips, so you're not breaking in all these coins. Like Weekend League, I just made, you know, a, a million coins each Weekend League. I make a million coins. You know, each season I make 150 k You know, so for me, I feel like the game gives you back a lot for playing it. You know, and I feel like as much as it costs so much, it does. You know, and it sucks, but it is an investment as far as, you know. And, and, and for me, I'm not a casual player. Now, I, this is my profession. So, for me, it is an investment. So, as far as the money aspect of it, um, I have completely accepted it. But I am way different than you guys. And I understand that, you know. And honestly, squads also gives you some coins. You know, everything gives you coins, you know. I really do feel like uh, coins definitely are, are there. If you play the game, you can get some coins, you know. And... Uh, like I said, as far as Twitch, I mean, this is the most successful I have been. The most successful a lot of people have been. Um, so, all in all, I, I think it's pretty good. And, and, and a lot of things with the Twitch channels. Let's let's be honest. As far as man on Twitch, there's probably five, six, seven, eight Twitch streamers that have any that stream mad and that have any type of decent following. Right, Twitch? Can we agree with that? You got to go, obviously, Problem, Gut Fox, myself, and you go Clef, and then you can go after that, I, maybe you, uh, Joel, when Joel stream man, I feel like he hasn't been streaming man as much. Uh, I don't know who else you got, K-Mac and Henry, yeah, these, but even those guys, I feel like they haven't been, you know what I'm saying, and you want to go Boogs, I mean, but these are people that consistently can get over 200 people watching let's say people that can consistently if they boot up their channel right now they're get, going to get over 200 people in the first hour you know that's what i'm saying boom that's what i want to know and and those are the people you got to put up there okay so let's just say all these people so let's say all right for the sake of let's say there's eight right there's eight outside of those eight it's not much so when those eight people aren't on, you know, it's going to be bleak as hell. You know, and just think about, and you can compare that to anything. We can talk about Fortnite, as I see Tfue is streaming right now, right? If you take the top eight people from said game and remove them, I would agree that probably 80% of the viewership is gone. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and and so that's why it's hard to judge Madden when all these people aren't streaming. It, and at the same time, if you had all top 10 Madden streamers on streaming Madden at once, now you're looking at 3,000 views, you're looking at 4,000 views or something like that. You know, so to, to, to make statements on what Twitch looks like when eight the top 8 to 10 people aren't streaming, is that that's very bland, you know. And, uh... I, I don't know who I don't know who is hiding from the tournament. I don't know. I've never been that type of person. Uh, I've always thought this was bigger than 
the tournament. Not always, but the, the older I get, the, the bigger, the wider my eyes get, I've always felt like your content and what you're building is bigger than this said tournament. You know, because you can hide, you can hide for six months cooking up the best thing, and you can lose in the first round. But if you're consistently grinding the, this content and your interaction with people watching you, that's never going to go away. You know, you being good at Madden or you being good at this month or you winning this tournament, that could go away. It could end tomorrow. It could end in an hour, honestly. So for me, people high, and I feel that that's the wrong mistake. And somebody like Problem can afford to do that because he's already established so much, you know. But... I, like I said, I don't think Madden is dead. I, I don't think, I don't think, I don't, like I said, I tweeted about two hours ago. I don't hate the game as much as y'all. I really don't. I don't like it. It's not that much fun. But I don't hate it as much as some of you guys hate it. You know? Uh, it, it asked me in the chat, what do I think needs to be fixed or adjusted? I honestly, I really just think it's the pursuit the pursuit and the fact my my defenders trip and fall and just every little bump they take is drastically affects where they go. Whereas in the offense, you know, that doesn't happen for offensive players. It is a drastic disadvantage for the defense that they consistently trip and fall, stumble over each other, take the bad angle, uh, go the wrong way, shit like that. And then the offense doesn't. I think that's the biggest problem with the game. I think the run is good. I don't think the run is dominant. I think if the pursuit was tweaked a little bit better, everybody got a little bit smarter. Everybody got a little bit better. Uh, would like a little bit better sheds on the run. I wish there was like a run shed. Say there was like a run shed defensive cam. Maybe if it cost 10 cap, you know, and this guy shed every time. Maybe if it cost, if to get somebody shed every time instantly, maybe that should cost, you know, 35 cap, just like route special or anything. So if you wanted to stop the run, you could put it on put it on your two outside linebackers and let them shed right away. You know that'd be pretty cool. But I just all in all, I think it's the pursuit. I don't think the abilities are are killing the game. I don't think it's the abilities at all. I really don't. Um, I think they're pretty good. I think they're pretty cool. I think they make the game exciting. If the pursuit was better and the fact, the, the biggest thing for me is that offense and def, defense trips all over them fucking selves, and offense can run freely without worrying about tripping. You know. And, and, and Envy Me says, how about the elite players shed because they got high block shot? I feel like that happens to an extent, really. I don't think the run is that dom. I don't think it's dominant. I think if the pursuit was better, you know, and, and I definitely don't think, I definitely don't think the running back abilities are, are just, oh, the game sucks because of the running back abilities. Yeah, they're good. But we said this, I don't know how many times we talked about this on the, on the podcast. We talked about it all the time. I mean, Ezekiel Elliott should stiff arm a corner, you know. He shouldn't lift the linebacker up off of his shoes, but he should break a couple tackles here and there. He's, he's one of the best running backs in the league, right? Bo Jackson's one of the best running backs ever. He should truck some fucking body. I mean, come on, Chad. Like, yeah. But, like I said, man, that that we get into the same thing about Madden all the time. I don't think it's dead. I, I just think one thing about Twitch and Madden, I feel like everybody that streams Madden, myself included, is fairly new to Twitch. You know, like, I've been partnered for Twitch for a little over two years. Problem is probably around five years. You know, and some of these, like we talked about Dr. Disrespect and Tifu, these are people I'm looking at. These people have been on Twitch for seven, eight years, you know, really grinding streams and building a following. So it takes years until you really become super established streamers where you make it a career. And it happens slowly. It's not going to happen overnight, especially in Madden when it's, already a small you know a small community so uh, it's never really going to be great on twitch because a lot of the people that had twitch accounts or had twitch followings aren't streaming as well most everybody that streams twitch is is relatively new you know they're not necessarily the, the most that have been around for, for seven eight years you know so i don't think twitch will ever i, I think it's only going to get better as long as these top people that we just talked about always continue to get to continue to stay at it and stay with it, every year it will get better and better. And that's how I felt for myself personally uh, streaming on Twitch. You know, I feel like it's get better and better. But that's how I just want to talk about Madden is dead. And now we got to get, we got to get to the to the, the, the meat and potatoes. You know, we, it was a lot of things talked about on Twitter throughout the, throughout the, uh, 
throughout the last 30 hours or something, you know, and I, and, and I appreciate you guys coming by and, and it's something I want to talk about, you know, you know, Players Lounge is having a clan, uh, they're having like a clan competition um, next week, you know, you and two buddies, y'all go ahead and play as not the most games, but each game, and I'll show you guys. I gotta take me a minute to. I got texted this picture, and each game is gonna. If you play a hundred dollar game, you know that's gonna that's gonna be worth fifty points. If you play a five dollar game, it's gonna be worth one point. You know, and you and your two buddies, the three people, whoever gets the most points throughout this week is gonna win an additional fifteen hundred dollars. Is Beast most scared of Mo? Now. That's a question I gotta ask. My man Kobo in the chat says, "Is Beast Mode scared of Mo, or how Beast Mode is scared of Mo?" Listen, I'll tell you something. You should never be afraid of a Madden player. Worst thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna lose a game of Madden. Who gives a shit? It sucks. Say well, I mean, I mean, it's part of the game. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. All right, but anyway. Hold on, wait. Did did Beast Mode really go to the Rams? Did that happen, Kobo? No, it didn't stop it. All right, but anyway, I don't want to talk about Beast Mode and what club he decides to go to. That's pretty wild. Did tell me Beast Mode went to the Rams. I wouldn't be scared of Mo. I wouldn't be scared of anybody. Listen, I, me myself, I'm a super fan. I really am. You know, and and I will always pick the. If I'm doing close I will always pick the Eagles. I don't care. Problem, Skimbo, Kiv, uh, Journey, uh, Henry, Joel, uh, whoever the fuck ever. Ghost, Joke, anyone. If they're all in the Eagles, I'm picking the Eagles. I, it's not even a thought for me because I'm just a super fan. Like I really am, dude. I couldn't. I'm a loser. I really am. I'm a Philadelphia loser. I will always pick the Eagles. You know, that's just me. Uh, some people are so worried about. If Comfy, I'm, Jake, I'm be real. Comfy Door, if he if he went to the Eagles, I might go to the Cowboys. No, but for all, I would always pick the same, you know. Uh, and I feel like some people uh, amongst us, fifty man players, like the elite man players, I think you get to a point where people, you know, it's pretty well established that's their club, you know. And I haven't established that. If anything, Figgy has established that, so people can go to any club they want, really, you know. And it's cool. I mean, as far as ducking people and all that, I mean. Ultimately, the goal is to win the tournament, you know, and if that's not your goal to begin with, you know, and I don't really know how to explain. I'm just literally going to, I'm literally going to go ahead and pick the same one every single time. But uh, let's get on to the Apke stuff. My man, the king in the building. There he is, my guy. King, you know what's all love. You know I just capped. That's why I see some, a lot of people I cap at and tell them they suck, but they're my guys. You know, I love y'all. It's a man community. I, I think everybody sucks. I really do. Like, Bugs is the fucking worst. He sucks. Honda Bugs is ass. You know what I'm saying? That's all. I just know that. And people don't take it serious. It's just cap. I'm just playing. But anyway, let's get to the meat and potatoes chat. Apke versus Moss. This was a heated debate. Now, Troy Apke is a legend. First of all, I want to establish what we're looking at here. Now, I, I didn't think about doing this, but let's go ahead and do this right here. Now, Apke is a legend in, in um, what you call it. Apke is a legend on Madden. And why is Apke a legend on Madden? Let me be the first to tell you guys this. Anybody that's tall and fast has been good on Madden forever. 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 They have been. They're always going to be good. Because one, taller people get better animations. It happens. That's part of life. Now, you know, that's just going to happen. You know, and if you haven't been playing Madden long enough to realize that that's going to happen. Okay, there we go. Oh, let's do this. Here we go, chat. Apke versus Moss. Why they watch, why they're here. Now listen. Moss is a little bit fast. Now I'll tell you, Apke's a goon. And why is Apke a goon? Because he's fast and he's tall. 
All right, chat. That is why he's a goon. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to break this down right now. We have 17 cap versus 60 cap. We have 6-1 versus 6 foe, right? We have 92 speed versus 85. Let's not forget that Troy Apke was... Also, before we start this, let's go back to the play. Just in case you guys forgot the play, we can watch it right here. All right, so here's the play. Now, I wish I would have this play. All right, let's go see down in the distance. Let's see. All right, it's 411 left in the third quarter. I want to say at this time the score was the score was seven to seven. All right, seven to seven at halftime. Boom. He just completed. He just complete. Now listen, this, let's just let's break down the stats here, chat. Because you know this is what we do. This is a deep dive into the game of Niner versus Bronco. And all right, kickoff. It's the second half now. It's seven to seven. We're in a slobber knocker. My man Bronco does not pass, and that's cool. But he just completed a 39-yard pass to Randy Moss. Boom. So, cool. So now we're probably around, well, I don't even know, 40 yards. He might be on his own, wherever the hell he is. So Moss just ran 39 yards. So Moss might be a little tired, chat. Let's let's not act like that doesn't matter. It might not matter. It might only matter 5%. So Moss is tired. Yo, look at the rating. Hold on, wait. Look at the rating on the play. Negative 1,607. The rating. Damn, now that's a negative 1,600 play for your team. Damn. All right, so we got a little 3-3-5 action here. We're going to have the linebackers go out. I don't know what this is. Is Troy Apke the safety? Is he the corner? I honestly, I really, I really don't know because it looks like these are the safeties, right? So I'm assuming Troy Apke is the corner. And he's all, first of all, he's 10 yards back, which he should be. He's losing by seven speed. He turns his back. He has, so I'm assuming this is like cover three, or this is a quarter. This is the deep. I don't know what the hell Broncos got going on right now. You know, now me, I'll be honest. I might let this bitch go. You know, I, I might let this thing go right here. I'm always looking for the seam. Now I would, I would bullet to the inside and probably possession catch. Now, this guy is throwing a goddamn bowling ball. I don't know who this is. Is this Aikman? Is this Aikman throwing a bowling ball, right? I guess it is Aikman. Yeah, so let's hear him. I have Moss maxed out. Now, I'm be real. I want Moss to go get this right here, chat. I'm going to be honest. I like listen. I want the ball to be right here, right? And I want Moss to possession catch this bitch get two. I feel like he's beat he he's be got him by two yards, a good pass, Randy Moss to go get the ball. And I will be completely honest with y'all. This play that Troy Apke made is fucking nuts. If you think otherwise, I don't know what the hell. Like, bro, that's this is this is nuts, chat. I'll be the first I don't even I don't even feel like this is an aggressive catch. I don't even feel like this is like a one-on-one -on -one situation. I legitimately feel like he has him beat to hell right here. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I feel like right here, he has him beat this shit. Like he's beat, he's beat like, like, come on, chat. I don't, but honestly, I, I don't feel, I feel like if you get a good throw right here, yeah. I don't think it's that bad of a, I, whether it's late, whether it's late, honestly, I didn't think it was really open until he threw it. Really, and bro, and, and Apke, Apke, listen, Apke reacts like a fucking idiot because Apke's an idiot. He doesn't react at all. And for me, uh, this really, I mean, Ap to, for Apke to make this play, I think it's fucking nuts. I really do. I really think this play that he made was pretty damn wild. And I don't know why it's not letting me play it anymore. Come on, man. Fix this shit. I honestly, I feel like the play Abke made was pretty nuts. God damn, I'm tired of hearing Niner talk. Like right here, chat. No, honestly, right here, does this not look like? Does this not look like he could toe tap? Like seriously, 
if I told y'all before to play, right? Seriously, if I told y'all before to play, what honestly, whether it's Randy, Mo- it's, for me, it's not even about Randy Moss or Abke. I feel like, I honestly feel like, like this is a dot. I wouldn't say it's the most amazing read in the world. I wouldn't say it was, you know, it was wide open. But I feel like, I feel like it's not terrible. Apke really can't cover anything but a streak. He really can't. Apke can't. Apke, we'll get to Apke. Listen, chat, relax. Relax, chat. This is what I want you, listen. To me, this is what I'm saying. I'm going to get to Apke and I'm going to get to Moss. But I'm just asking you guys, chat, does this not look like it could be complete? I'm not saying it's the best read. I'm not playing. I don't know why y'all putting twos in the chat. Why? Who said put twos in the chat? Why are y'all listening to anybody other than me putting twos and ones in the chat? Let's, let's relax with the twos. I didn't say put twos and ones in the chat. YouTube, did I didn't say put twos and ones. Now, YouTube, I want you guys to tell me, man. Like, seriously. Like, right here, when he do the ball, I'm not. I'm telling you, I'm not feeling this. Because, one, you're, like, throwing a streak and he's already in the end zone. So, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty shitty pass. It really is for me personally, right? But at the same time, when he goes to catch it, I feel like, bro, he can definitely get his feet down. That's all I'm saying. Do y'all agree or disagree? I'm not saying he was blind. I'm not saying it was a good read. I'm just saying from right here on the screen with a good throw and just a toe tap, could he not catch this pass? Is my question I'm asking. I'm uh, this all I'm saying. Could he not catch this? That's all I'm saying. An inside pass lead. Okay, I'm not I'm just all I'm asking. He might have moved him out. He might have got mossed. He might have been shitty with his user. But from where I'm at, maybe, I mean, dude, right here, it looks like he can catch it. Why should this never be a catch? If the throw is at the at the nine, at the E and the R, it's right here. After, there, there's nobody to catch it. Touch it. Kid, okay, that's what I'm saying. If you get a throw between the E and the R, right here where my where I'm fingering, right here, I feel like that could be a touchdown. Why aren't, why aren't I going to get to the pass lead? I t- as a man that seems people to fuck up, I feel like, yo, you can get a pass wherever it is. Even if the ball's right here. Why? So I shouldn't be able to go from I shouldn't be able to pass lead him. To, all right. You're right. E and R as far as shit. All right. Halfway through the E and R. Yeah, if the pass lead is here, which it probably was. I wish I could see the circle. Now, you're right, chat. We don't see the circle. If we could see the circle, it would help out a lot. So what I'm thinking is maybe Niner moved this asshole way too far to the inside. <laughs> and that's why he looks so far away from Apke. But from where I'm at, if the, if the pass is at the E, this is a touchdown. But I'm assuming that what Niner does here is go too far underneath. That allows Apke to get the animation. The circle, I don't know where the circle is. It looks like the circle would be about right, right where he's catching it, really, at the back of the R right there. Yeah, listen, if we're going to post clips, and this goes to a lot of you guys, bro, get an Elgato and record your games, man. And we got to agree. Troy Apke, as much as I don't think, I I think he could make a play on the ball, he can't be doing shit like this. This is a little wild for Troy Apke, chat. This is fucking nuts. This is a Pat Tillman, you know, Patrick Peterson type pick, dude. This is pretty nuts. I care about the animation. What I mean, what, what? I don't understand. How, like, so in other words, in other words, because he because he got position on 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 because at the end of the day, whether you like whether you want to admit it or not, look look chat. He has inside position right here. He does. All right, Niners. Jesus Christ. The whole way down the field, he does have inside position, right? So what you want... So, Chad, this is what you want. Now, this is what you you guys want. With a pass lead to the inside, you want Apke to pick that off every time. Is that what y'all telling me? Because I'm... Because, like, listen... 
this is <laughs> this is six. If you put, let's say you put A. Rod and Devontae Adams, or you put Brady and Edelman, this is six. Like this is six. And I also feel like this. I feel like this too, chat. As an Apke, a person that has used Apke for a long time, a person that's used TJ Green, a person that used Lonnie Ballantyne, a person that used uh, who bum ass linebackers. Uh, I don't even remember the name. What? Who the hell else was my linebackers? Uh, bum ass like Banks, all these bum ass linebackers. And agree with me on this chat. Now, if Moss would have just mossed the shit out of him and called an aggressive catch for a touchdown, can you be mad at that ever? Can we be mad at that? If you decide to put Apke out one on one with Moss and he gets mossed, then you know what I'm saying? That then how, how can you be bad at that? Are we, this is what we got. All right, this guy got Apke at the outside corner. I mean, and they say Apke can only go. I will agree to you this. I've played with these little silvers on defense, and they suck dick. So I don't know. I don't know this whole Apke is overpowered thing. This particular play was fucking old D. I will tell you that much, honestly. But if Apke gets mossed, I feel like, man. If Appy gets mossed, I feel like you got to live with that. You know what I'm saying? Because the, at some point... I don't think Appy can guard anything. I I would try him. You didn't see the play? He just one hand, and then Appy one hand... I, I can go, listen, I'm going to be honest, where the, the trajectory of the ball is, I'm going to go ahead and say Niners just had the worst fucking user of all time. Because <laughs> the way he catches the ball, I feel like the circle was way back here, and Niners just ran in front of him and got mossed his damn self. I'll be honest with that. Like, I kind of feel like, yeah, Niner kind of fucked this up a little bit. Dirk, I, I kind of agree. If this was on All Pro, Apke would be even worse on All Pro, and that's one of the reasons they don't really play Mud on All Pro is because they don't want they want people to have to buy the cards. They don't want people to be able to put Troy Apke's out there and be okay, you know. I I, I want to I I really want to go ahead and, and and give Niner a little bit of blame for this shitty ass user. And I'm, let's go over this. Let's go back with this, too. And I, I asked a, a Discord full of people I think are very good at Madden. I asked them this, and we come back as we come back. We're gonna, we got some more. We're going to go back. We're going to go back. We're going to go back to the breakdown of App Game Moss. But I talked to, and you guys can help me because there's a lot of man players in here as well. We're all man players. And we, listen, and I asked a group full of man players, a, a good group of man players that I think are very good. I asked them, do you ever see somebody on the field and target that person? And I'll ask you guys, chat, if you're playing offense, right? If you're playing, right, you're, you're doing your hot routes. Do you say, oh, shit, there's this guy. It's not, I don't think it's like real life where you can see, okay, he's got a shitty player there. Let me throw with him every play. Because I, as a passer, I never do that. I just figure that guy's in the cloud. He's in a deep blue. This guy's over here. I'm not going to move, change my whole offense because of one shitty player. So I literally don't do that. Really, I really don't look at the personnel unless we're talking about, man, Tillman or maybe when it was 91 zone. You got to pay attention to where the 91 zone was on D.C. back before everybody had a 91 zone. Um, that's when I really pay attention to where people are. And for me personally, uh, and for me, honestly, it's like I've never been a person. It's not really about finding a good person. We're talking about finding a bad person. You know, let's find a bad person and throw it him. That's kind of what happened, what we're talking about here. Uh, as an instance, well, let me find a bad person and throw the ball up to him. Man 16, it didn't matter who the hell the corner was. You were throwing the ball up to him. You know, it didn't matter if it was Apke, if it was Dion, if it was Jesus, if it was John the Baptist, if it was Joey Chestnut. You were throwing the ball up to him. That That's pretty much what, what happened. 
You know, and I don't think there's ever an instance where, where, um, is that an instance where you look for the bad player? Now, if we're talking, okay, and, and Jay Wall said he saw cover three and wants to throw a streak. Now, I will be honest, is that really a bad read if you have Apke on the corner? And let's go back to the comparison. Is that really a bad, not necessarily his particular not his particular situation, because I agree he was a little close for that. But say we're at the 50-yard line. Is that really a bad read? Even if Apke is 10 yards off, is that really a bad read? We're talking about 92 speed. I'm assuming 93 speed because of Sprinter. I'm assuming that. Uh, and then, oh man, I gotta, I just always got to see this chat because y'all capping. You know what I'm saying? Now, so here we go. Now, I wouldn't even say throwing a streak is, is, is necessarily aggressive catching him. You could just expect him to get, pa- get past him because he's that much faster. You know what I'm saying? And we look at this agility. Where's jump? 85 jump isn't... Like, he's not getting dominated that bad in the physical attributes. He's not. It's, it's not that bad in the physical attributes. Now, when we get down here to, like, the, let's see, spec catch, 54 to 92, okay. Catch in general. Where is catch in general? Oh, catch is up here, 53 to 91. I mean, honestly, Chad, he's not getting dominated as bad as I thought he would. (laughs) Zone coverage, 61 zone. 52 tackle, 64 hit power. Apke's really not that bad. Moral of the story, put Apke out there. And I agree that Moss... And, and let's not let's not say, like, aggressive catching doesn't happen. It has definitely been toned down, but it's still definitely a part of Madden. And I feel like if you put this 17-cap DB out there, and he throws the ball up to Randy Moss, and, he, and Randy Moss mosses him, like Randy Moss did his whole fucking career... Like, literally just put balls on people's heads. That's what Randy Moss did. They literally call it mossing somebody because of what he did. Okay? Now, I'm not... Now, this is what I'm saying is that if you put Troy Apke out there and he gets mossed, how can you be mad? Seriously. Now, I don't think it should happen. I don't think it should be a read. But if it happens... How can you honestly be mad? This is what I'm saying. How can you be upset about that? I I, I don't know what skill is, you know? I feel like, man, and and I will tell you, Apke sucks. He sucks dick. You put him in safety, literally, just throw any. You can really throw streaks. If he had better timing, he could literally throw a streak, possession, catch it every time. Apke sucks. He's fast, can jump, and is 17 cap. That's why he's on anybody's field. But he sucks, period. And we ought to all agree with that because we've all played against him. We've all put him on the field, and he sucks. He can blitz, he can kind of tackle, and he's fast enough to run around the field. You know, and, 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 and in the chat, they say, if you have a shitter like this on the field, you should be able to expose it. And I agree. You can expose it. Just throw anything at him. And I, and, and honestly, this is what I'll tell you. If you put me in this situation, dub dot, not that I'm that much better than Niner. I am that much better than Niner, but not that much. God, I'm sorry. There's no, I'm making this play. Me, I'm doing this ball. First of all, I, this won't be my play. You know, I do a corner route to the sideline, but I'm making this play right here. We're making this happen. Because one, I'm probably scrambling. I'm making this play happen. Chat, now let me know I'm making I'm making this play happen. You know, but that's just me. You know, he was not so fortunate. He definitely got mossed. And I'm starting to believe that it was it was his user that got him mossed. Not really Apke and, and Moss. It really was just his shitty user. Whereas I, I almost feel like if he just held Y and didn't try to swerve and be fucking cute like he's good... Then you know, I think he might catch this pass, you know. 
I mean, that is a, I, I do think that's a nuts play by Apke from where he is. I, I do think it's kind of fucking nuts. You know, I'm never one for aggressive catching. I think that's super nuts as well, but... You know, no, I think I think you can throw that pass and, and make it and catch it. I I think I think there's a place where you can throw because honestly, it was just a seam. It was really just a seam streak against cover three and against a real shitty corner, a real shitty zone that's not going to react. So I personally feel like there was a way to throw that and make that caught. You know. And I didn't. I didn't think it was that bad of a read. There's way worse reads than that. Let's relax. You know, let's relax. I didn't think it was the worst read in the world. I thought. I mean, it wasn't the best. But we're not going to act like it was the worst thing ever. We're not going to act like that. You know. I mean, but but at the same time, it's not. I, it was. I don't think it was a shit read. I think you. I think you can complete that pass. Uh, if you were to do it at the right time, I think that's a touchdown on the uh, around the goal line for sure. One thousand percent. Apke shouldn't. I, I agree. Apke should not catch picks like that. He shouldn't have caught. He shouldn't have caught the pick. I'm gonna be honest. Now let's be honest. Now let's rewind. Chat. If that's Pat Pete, if that's Willie Brown, if that's Jason Seahorn, if that's Tillman, we all cool with this, right, Chat? Where when everybody is cool, if that's Willie Brown, we're all okay with this. Right, chat? That's how I just want y'all to say yes, that's fine. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And I, I'm going to be honest. And, and So, and one thing about Madden that sucks, you know, it. and one thing about, and you, a lot of you guys are fucking dumb. All you TNC dudes are fucking little kids, all right? Y'all haven't played a man where, like, you got abused by a wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? You didn't get spec caught. You didn't get rocket caught. I don't even know if y'all got swerved. You know what I'm saying? So, Madden has always been, and at some point, we y'all want, uh, y'all want this shit to be super, like, Y'all want the same shit every time. At what point is this real football? Because we, like, Randy Moss literally did that shit his whole career. And is the best wide receiver ever because he literally just throw me the ball. I'm going to catch it. So at what point does that part of football, which is a huge part of football, using a big body receiver to moss somebody, to beat somebody, even when they're not open, is a huge part of football. Now I agree. When it was just hold, when how it's just hold, why is ass? That shit is terrible. But when there was rocket catching, when there was swerving, even spec catch, you know, spec catch was easy as shit. But those, there's no way in this game. Now you agree with disagree? There's no way in this game to use spec catch or a tall receiver, like none. And that's such a huge part of football, and it's literally not in Madden at all. How do y'all feel about that? Because I feel like between the swerve and rocket catching in my life, the big receiver had a place. Now it's like it's irrelevant. You know, Tyree Kill has been the best wide receiver in Madden, what, last year at least? You know, and, and I feel like they're all the same. And at some point, and at some point in real life, yeah, just the whole why stuff is terrible. Yeah, you used to have to time it the right way, move your player the right way, and get a good catch. And there was some way to get that, it'd be awesome. But right now, the way the game is, it's pretty ass. But for in real life, like this, in real life, if you left Moss one on one inside the ten yard line, that was bad defense. That was worse. That was worse than yo. Bad. That was bad. You can't leave Moss one on one. You know. So at what point does that does that play any aspect into Madden? Because that's that's the crazy part to me is that at some point these big big body great receivers need to play some type of they had to play some type of role and that and and, and I'm one thousand percent against holding Y and letting them do it themselves. You got to bring back some type of user catch, some type of ability to have these big body receivers do something. You know.
Johnny, it's not really about this game. It's just about Madden in general. And that's one reason we talked about we pa- talked about Twitter today. We talked about Madden 17. And the swerve was one of the best things ever for Madden. Because if I play if I play Joey Chestnut, if I whooped his ass, I'm going to beat him by 50 points. Because I have so much more user than him. You know what I'm saying? I think the catching buttons are great. But I think they, it's just way too easy to do it, if that makes sense. You. What's the word? Oh. All right. So chat. Right now we have Kiv, average man player. We have Taylor Gang, even less average man player. And one, Taylor Gang thinks you should be able to moss people. And Kiv thinks he's not. Now, Taylor Gang, I ask you, why should you think you should be able to moss people? Y'all wasn't. What? What the fuck? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, Taylor Gang, I have fucking streamed before, bro. I appreciate the. I appreciate the advice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, B was a touchdown. I mean, how to? All right, say something. Say chat. Yeah, they can hear us. How you know? You just literally didn't say nothing. You just say you can hear. I just. They, right. Yeah, I just unmuted and muted it back. All right, we go. All right, so all right, Tegan. Right, Tegan, right, you think you should yeah. be able to moss people? Go. <laughs> Not all people, but shitter cards like Troy Appy. Yes, because <clears throat> why is Moss that much cap if he can't? And like I was saying, J Wall said he's that much cap because he's the fastest fastest receiver in the game and he has very high route running. Well, where are the other thirty stats that are damn near 90, 92, 93s? Like when do they come into play? Because you should be punished for having a shitter on the field sometime. I, I, Not see, all the I feel time. Like because I feel like Effie sucks. And I feel like, well, even that pass, I feel like if he timed it better and do it right, he could have caught a touchdown. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah. The, the pass lead was shitty. He was too far deep in the pocket. That's why he had the bowling ball wind up. A lot of shitty things about that play. But the read isn't one of them, given the cards that are on the field. When is 17 versus 60 going to matter? Ever. Can I, can I go now? Yes, kid. What do you think? <laughs> I think it should be a pick or an incompletion every time. You don't think no Moss matter, ever catch that Honestly, pass. no matter the player. In Apke, no, because because it's not open. If it was open, then yes, he should catch it. Like he could get a rack egg or something like that. But that wasn't open. Niner just threw that shit blindly. Tried to ag it because he knew it was a bad read and then got mad because Apke picked it off. But there, there's a – there – in Madden, you can't have everything be realistic. Otherwise, shit. Because in Madden, not everything is skillful. Not at all. Throwing something up and just hitting triangle with the because you have the best receiver in the game versus a fucking shitty DB. That's not skill at all. Just like running the ball and tapping A with Zeke isn't skill. Yes, Zeke break tackles in real life, but it's not skill to do that. That's true. There's a fine line between what's like shit that's realistic and shit that can be in Madden because there's 11 players on the field. You can't control all 11. You can control one. So when you add stuff to the game that like one-on-one interactions and stuff like that and animations and stuff that just requires attributes and stuff like that. And like if I have, if I spent $300 on this player, I want to be able to ag the fucking 80 overall or the 70 overall that he has. That's when you get the man 16 situation where you have fucking the best rece- three best receivers in the game and you just throw it up one-on-one to, depending off of if they're 
one on if they're one on one or whatever. No, because for sure, no. I, like I said, big receivers are a big part of football. They are. Like that shit matters. The Alshon Jeffries, the Mike Evans, the Randy Moss, Terrell Owens. These dudes, that that shit is it's part of football. It's a huge part. At what point? I agree, at, but there's nothing. There's no. They have no way to make it skill based, so it shouldn't be a thing. I I, I feel like they got to figure out how to do that because there's really no. There's. There, well, I mean, there was swerve, but you could do swerve. There's. It's just men, bro. You can't have shit like that well, in men. Well, it has to be. Now, we have to realize that it yeah. has to be a football simulation. I, I would be you, you fine with you, Swerve being in the game. Because oh, yeah. like, it's, I was it, fine with Swerve because it took skill to do but to I, Swerve, but, I but feel it didn't like, matter about attributes. I feel like if Moss can cast that over Apke, then maybe Mike might become strategy-based. Why is Apke on Moss? Okay, but then where does the line end? Like, then you go up to now I have my 99 overall receiver. Why is he not? Aggressive catching this eighty overall. Corner. I mean, it should definitely be. That's true. Be, no, it right should now. be so ratings it, based. You know, I I feel like man. I don't I don't agree because we're playing salary cap. You're not able to fit. If we're playing mutt, it's different. Well, mutt, you'd never you have this. The best player. Well, yeah, but, I agree. But you, when you're asking for these type of things, you get man sixteen. You get. Because no, man, sixteen was super wild. wild. But 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 yeah, I don't that's know. what I'm saying. Do you, like, but but it's not a it's not a bad read in real football to throw the shit up. Not at you, all. And it's a good read. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kid, you, they would throw it can, every time. There's can, nothing. There's nothing in the game that's skillful for you to get an aggressive cut. You can set your DBs to overall. Don't have shooters. You can set them to overall. Right, Why is that in the game, man? I mean, you're not, you're not going to be able to have the four best DBs in the game, and just because you have the four best receivers doesn't mean you should aggressive catch me every single time because you got four better ratings. Well, if they have the four There's best receivers in the game, aren't they hurting somewhere Apke else? With. That's true. There is other shit you can attack. Apke with. Every every other route you can attack Apke with. There's literally not one route that he can cover besides like a I flat feel like, route. I feel like he's not covering the streak either. Now just yeah, sucked. that's true. He's not covering any route. <laughs> he not he like did man cover it. Like the only thing he'll cover is a flat, or or a fucking one on one aggressive catch. Yeah, I, I just man, like I said, they got, it has to be a way to use these big receivers, uh, and obviously it's not in the game. Like you said, it's not in the game. I feel like they still are good because they're tall. I feel like the passes are different to tall receivers. I feel like they can reach for passes, reach further away from DBs. Yeah, Little shit. There's benefits. Yeah. And a bigger receiver is bully the smaller corners, yeah. too, like releases and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, there's benefits to having the best receiver in the game. Otherwise, I wouldn't use. I use the best receivers in the game every year. Yeah. I, if it wasn't good, I would fucking just use the shitters. Yeah. But they are good. Yeah, for so. sure. I just, I, I just feel like. Competitive Madden is Madden football has football? to be football at some point. Madden will always be football because it's much. All right, there's 400 people in here. This is about the only 400 that give a fuck about competitive Madden. Let's just let's just call that what it is. And there, there's what 40,000 other people that play Madden that just want to play football. You know, so yeah, they want to. So it's always going to be a part of y'all. Got to get over that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all like, arm. If, you, if y'all can arm bar, Moss should be able to Moss. Perfectly mouse. fine with there if you, it was still like if if you had swerve in the game i would be fine with you being able to swerve and shit. Yeah. but there's nothing there's there there right now there's nothing in the game that you can just throw up a streak on apke and yes there like, there's, there's no there's something in the game to, you know same, and, with, and, same with armbar there's no skill to armbar either and like like if you could arm but you can you just gotta get double me activated bro that's all you gotta do and you can moss the shit out of people so i mean <laughs> listen exactly. It is in the game. If you get double me, you got to double the receiver. You know, imagine if double me was like arm bar, just an ability. Double me every play. I'm telling you, they thought about it, Chad. They thought about it out there. That's how Madden 16 was. It was. Literally. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's how, I felt like that's how Madden 19 was. You bro. saw how fucking bad that game was. Fucking. I'm saying. Stiff in the finals. I mean, ratings should matter, though, man. And, and they do, because Apke does suck. But at the end of the day, man, if he's a, he, he he can't cover anything. And I, I put them ten caps. I tried to play with all silvers on defense. It was bad. It was really bad. There's a no huge difference between Apke and like someone like Darius Slay yes. or like one thousand percent. So for me, huge for me, I do feel like they got to find a way to use these big receivers. And I honestly, I want to tell them not to. Because if they do, say say Madden twenty one comes out and they have a new big wide receiver feature, it's probably going to suck. It's probably going to be terrible. It's probably going to be 
uh, the worst, you know. But as far as our man, this is bad, big receivers used to be dumb. Big bum ass receivers. Malcolm Floyd, uh, Finneran. I remember I used uh, Leonard Pope, the big six eight tight end on the Cardinals. Anybody I think it tell. adds to skill gap when you have something like that in the game. Oh yeah, because because you can people blow people with out. Shitty stick. Yeah, yeah. And, but pe- and people would just not get sick. Right? Yeah, Take care. Okay, like do you do you think if that Moss had red zone threat or streak specialist that he should have caught that ball? No, because I don't I don't agree with also the you adding an ability to something to just make it like overpowered either because how am I supposed to like I'm not getting into into a game and now I'm like fucked on defense because you have streak specialists and the best Randy Moss or whatever. Like I don't agree with abilities making like that big of a difference. Like I like I don't, I don't really That's like the, the abilities this year, but I like the abilities like in Madden 18, Madden 17, where you had these abilities that just made your player a little bit better, not made them like into fucking Jesus. No. Which that's how it is now. You had an ability. To and the people players. without them are they? They did the peasants in the yeah. streets. The peasants in the streets. You put a star on somebody's feet, they're tough. If not, peasants in the streets. True story. But for sure, man. But listen. I appreciate y'all putting y'all input as always. Um, mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Y'all, y'all are the ones that I make this. I'm saying y'all always. Yeah. See, I don't like I mean, because everybody want to come on. You know I'm saying so. I like to keep the few certain people. You know I'm saying so. I appreciate y'all coming in, putting in y'all input. That is Young Kiv, the uh, what Madden 19 champion. When the hell did you win? Madden 18. Man, eighteen. 18. Oh yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. Yep. It feel. Oh, them gonna start feeling old now. Like that should be bad. It'd be like, bro, like, <laughs> stop talking about it. People are always talking about that shit, bro. I'd be like, nah, that shit over. I'm stiff now. You know what I'm saying? I'm stiff yeah. now. Jeez. Just, just trying to stay above. Stiff. This is my that's question, man. Only... Are you playing two K tonight? What's up? No, that's a Taylor no. Taylor Gain sends that account. No, see, that's I, I heard him no. Bro, I can't use Drini's account. That shit is ass. Yes, it's the worst player ever. Uh, you still ain't Literally the account? worst player. Bro, you got to find a I mean, by what they they tax him? Not, bro. It'd be these little. It'd be the ten followers. <laughs> they try to like get that account back right, like super easy. <laughs> yeah, like this dude tried to sell me an account for two fifty, and he and I looked it up, and like it's so easy to just get the account back, and I'm like, yeah, fuck this, bro. Yeah. Taylor Green got us on the account, bro. He's got the he's got the player I use on PS4. I don't know, man. My man Trey might need to run. He was he was next up, and then one night we needed him. He was like, nah, you know, I got to study film on Madden. He ain't want to play, so you know what I'm saying? He gotta <laughs> Bro, he's got, he's got he's got a fucking girlfriend, baby on the way. Man, bro. Yeah, he got to get that man shut up, let me, man. Let me get the 2K. Let me get the 2K. Facts. My boy Taylor. But all right, well, I'll talk to you other, so we're going to figure this 2K shit out. Yeah. All right. All right, bet. That is Young Kiv. Talking about a pretty much this came down to aggressive catch, you know. And one thing that makes me mad about aggressive catch, man, is that you really can't use it in the red zone at all. You know, I can't come out I form tight and, and throw a fade. You know, should that be part of Madden? Honestly, chat, chat, and I'm gonna ask you guys that. Should there be anything where you have to double team Calvin Johnson? If I'm out, if I got Calvin Johnson, should you have to double team him? But what? But that's I, I. I just, you know, I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like the no hold. And how about this? Maybe I don't know what. Who, now, you're right. With the way it's set up now, it shouldn't be in the game at all. You know, and, and the way it's set up now and how easy it is, it really it shouldn't be in the game. It's kind of ass. But I feel like one. Now we talk about that whole. Just the whole catch it X Y and A, I think is really good. One, I think it's too it's too easy. You know, holding the button is, and I even talk and people tell me they spam the button. They just tap A a million times. On PS2, it used to be if you didn't hit the hit it at the right time, your receiver would just go like this, and the ball would go over his head, or he get picked off, or he wouldn't go for it. Like if you hit Y early, he would just oh, and then just wing the ball. So there was a lot more timing to it. Now, at the same time, I feel like everybody that's good will be able to do that. So I don't think it would make that big a difference. But I think at some point, uh, I think at some point, Guitar Soul Hero Ag Battle. So 
We're just all pressing buttons. No, I wouldn't want that. No, you little fucking 16-year-olds would beat me at Guitar Hero Aggressive Catch Battles. Does anybody remember Fight for the Fumble? Fight for the Fumble had everybody like this. Elbow up like this. Whole shit hurting. Whole just stiff as hell. Hell no. You had to get up on your seat. Elbow up. Face like this. Nobody want to do that. God damn. Fight. Y'all want to do that? Skill gap. Yeah, Wesley not losing that shit. His little nerd ass is like, hey. he would see Wesley. So he's such a nerd. He wouldn't even like move. He would just still be like this, beating everybody to fight for the fumble. Hey. I got, I got my, I got my program controller. If I, if I go a a a and hold it, it just automatically does it for me. Like what the hell? Yo, I can't lie. No, fight for the fumble on like the main stage would be crazy. RT like, oh my god, it's a fight. It's a fight. And everybody just up there like, who's gonna win it? Who's gonna win it? It's coming down to the buttons. <laughs> Yo, that shit would be crazy. <laughs> Yo, that was nuts, man. <laughs> he just bruh. That shit is funny. Oh, Epke does play ball in the air aggressive. That could pop. Pro-Am 3s? That would be crazy, MCS. Will you playing? What position are you playing? Oh, Kwani here, Dan. Woo, you want to play guard? Woo, you got a guard, Woo? See, Woo, tell me you got a guard and you on the team. But anyway, chat, this, I, we just talked about aggressive catches. YouTube, you guys can tell me, man. Do you think you should be able to throw the ball up to Randy Moss like one on one and just hold Y, or and this is why we talked about this on on what you call it? We talked about this on on uh, Twitter today about Man Seventeen. Uh, people didn't like Man Seventeen because of the swerve, and little do you guys know, so the swerve was like the best thing they ever put in Madden because the swerve, if you went the mud head to head, like I beat somebody by fifty because they don't have any user. You know, and that's was one of the best things ever in Madden for somebody like me, for somebody that's that good at the game. And I could stop it and do it. It was one of the best things ever. You know, so I think there has to be a way. There has to be a way to um, use these big receivers. Now, they don't really have it now in the game where it works. You know, so we'll, we'll figure it out uh, one way or the other. But like I said, I mean, let me know what you think, man. Should you be able to moss people? Should Apke have caught that pick on moss? Was that a good read? Um... Let's see pretty much how it goes. Uh, you guys let me know, YouTube. Did you think you should catch passes like that? I didn't think it was the worst throw. I think, one, like I said, if you put me out there, I'm making that play. I'm a little bit more advanced than Niner, but I didn't think it was that terrible. Some of these kids think the throw was terrible. Uh, I thought it, was, it wasn't good, but it wasn't the worst in the world. The play Apke made, I personally thought, was pretty damn wild. Uh... But it is the only thing he can cover, man. Those silvers are terrible, and I feel like you can throw any route at them underneath their face, over their head, next to them, wherever you want to throw the ball, you can catch it on them. And right there, Apke made a play. And I, I do want to put most of the blame on Niner for being shitty, but um, oh, there we go. But, and that's how it is. This was the Needed Podcast. This was episode 49. Like I said, Players Lounge next week is going to have a torn, uh, have a challenge. You get two people, the three of you guys are a clan. Whoever plays the most games amongst the clans wins an extra $1,500. I will get more details on you for that. If you're not following me on social media, do that. Also, you can check all these podcasts out live. It is Wednesday. Normally, I do this on Tuesday night. Dinner on Wednesday because I had to find out more information about the Players' Lounge event. Had to get the link 
for the man tournament i put that in the chat already for you guys if you want to come out sunday play some man before the eagles game to win a thousand dollars is definitely the move but uh this was the needed podcast this was episode 49 chat we are closing in on the year anniversary of the needed podcast i want some suggestions in the youtube what should i do for a year it's been a year of these goddamn shows it's been a year about talking about man and you guys have been supporting it from the beginning so i want some ideas on what we should do for a thousand episodes i would bring c1 but he does not leave the house you know, so for me, it's going to be tough to do that. And, you know, so don't suggest bring Siwoo on. Hey, go, go go do a show at Siwoo's house. You know, and that's really not an option. Uh, but come up with some ideas for me. Uh, until then, I will see you guys soon.